All right, boys, welcome back. So today we've got a big gift from Santa George giving us a free pull that you can re-roll 999 times to try and get the best bolt you can. And uh, yeah, I want to do a quick video saying probably don't do it just yet. If you've already done it and you claimed it, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. But uh, I do feel like most people should be going crazy on this Julius banner. I just uploaded my summons and I, I did 20 summons, got Julius basically three times and a few other SSRs. And uh, yeah, I thought I was done, but I realized, you know, there's nothing really worth saving for, at least for the time being that we know of. So I really do think that you should go crazy on trying to summon as much as possible because the banner is really good. Not only is Julius a festival character, so he's not going to return likely until Black Aster and if you follow the exact same pattern as JP and KR, he's going to come out on a separate banner with Black Astar. And if you summon now and you've already gotten Julius, then well, you're not really going to essentially get him again. So uh, I really do recommend to summon as much as possible to try and get as much dupes as possible. I know you can spend your universal dupe shards, but you can, you know, try and summon as much as possible. If you get your know, max dupe without spending any single dupe shards, then you can then use those on summon as well. And uh, same with going for his skill page as well. His skill page is quite important to do power. I know it's kind of annoying because you don't really care about a skill page over a character, but it does go massively high. 10% attack rate stats, I believe if you fully do your power, it does go up to 25% attack rate stats or, or attack basically, which is insane. So yeah, you want to get this dupe out, but don't worry too much about it it's because we are going to be getting skill page dupes in the future that you can spend on any single dupe page. And uh, this is what you should be doing on first. So once again, to kind of ease your pain in the future, I'll definitely go crazy. Not to mention the filler banner is, um, yeah, not bad. All carriages you actually generally want. Minus these two red people here, which I pulled again, by the way, so I'm fuming. But, like, getting Red Yami to hopefully start farming the red dungeon, getting Blue William for, obviously, PvP. Not so much Jack, not so much, uh, you know, uh, Nozel. Charlotte, you actually don't mind, but you got it for free, so don't really care. Uh, obviously, for Gordion, not greatest character, but good for some boss fights, and you can be good for farming gear a little bit. And uh, same goes for Ryan Lick. You want to get those for PvP, but you want to get them duped out as well, and you don't mind getting them for the first time, because they're going to be good for farming gear, especially right now with Julius. I definitely want to start farming some crit damage gear sets and uh, you have to get this set right here and in order to do it you have to have a bunch of blue or green characters to finish this blue dungeon which I am currently hiding. So yeah you're going to farm this gear and if you get Raya which luckily I did. But yeah it just makes the banner much more worth summoning for. The banner is lasting 14 more days and while you may have done a lot of summons already I still recommend going crazy even just every single time you get enough for a multi unless you really don't want to go with too much you want to start saving again then fair enough but generally there's nothing really worth saving for right now i think if anything there's um what a season four that's kind of decent but season four now should be season three and the only real good banner or character on the season three banner is between Fagolion, jack and obviously uh charlotte but the only good one is charlotte and you can then guarantee her for free with the season three key so you don't really have to summon for season three which means right now what i recommend doing is just summon as much as you can on the julius banner until the banner leaves honestly just go crazy and it's kind of what i'm doing right now uh, i think i might stop after the two pities because i think at that point I've probably done a bit too much on the banner. But generally, even after I upload my summons a few hours ago, I've done 10 more off stream by grinding a bunch of free to play crystals and free to play tickets. And so, because I plan to summon even more until the banner does leave, you're wasting my time on this. Is it really worth it? Because the character I plan to get right now is uh, between Mars and Radies. It was actually William as well, but I ended up putting William on this banner. So you can see right now, I'm missing Mars and I'm also missing Radies as well. However, because I still plan to do 10 more summons, if I actually decide to pick up Mars, let's say today on my free ticket summons, and I end up pulling Mars, then well, I kind of wasted my free summon because then I could have guaranteed ready. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of why I don't recommend summoning just yet on the free banner. Sure, if you want to do your summons and go for it. Let's say you're still a bit behind, but there's no rush doing it. You have 99 summons, and you also have two weeks to do it. So I'd say finish your summons first, and then go into this banner. And in whatever character you do get, then you can then decide on getting another character, if that one character was going to be your selected character. Also, a little tip if you haven't actually known about this feature. If you go to all your settings, you can actually turn off the actual summon animation. So you can see here, skip summon scene. And every single time you summon, you can see you're going to completely skip the animation, which just makes re-rolling a lot more easier. Now, when you are re-rolling, what are you looking for? Once again, I feel like the only three characters you should be re-rolling for is one, the character you're missing, but more importantly, it's going to be either Mars, Lotus, or obviously uh, Radis. Radis is the only other good character out of this lineup. If you're missing William, if you have all three that I just named, then I'll go for him on the fourth one. And then maybe, I guess, like, I would say probably for Goleon, 
maybe Sally on like the fifth or sixth slot here. And if you don't know how the summon actually works in this, you are guaranteeing SSR, but you can only get one SSR mage. So the one character you get is the only character you're going to get. You can reroll 999 times, you will never get a two character pool. But what you can get is more skill pages. Now, what I recommend doing is going for the character that you want. So for example, I want to get Mars. So what I would try and do is reroll for Mars and try and get a two in one, or if you can, a three in one as well. For example, right now on screen is the reroll banner on JP. Bear in mind, they have got a different banner. So Riot is available, but you can see this is the pool I would go for. One character and then two other skill pages. For the skill pages, which ones do I recommend? I want it definitely Mars, especially plan to pull in because he is going to get this actual four or five stack and it's very, very good. You actually want to have this, even if you don't have Mars, putting this on a tank character, like what I've done for Seke, for example, is going to make farming a lot more easier and tanking more. It's a, such a good skill page you want to have for every single tank going forward. So definitely get this one. If you actually plan to use Sally, she has got a pretty good one, which basically means when you do use a skill two effect, whoever this is on, obviously has to be your supporter. You are going to get basically a 10% attack increase to the ally with the highest attack, which is normally who you're buffing up anyway. So let's say, you know, Noel, for example, you're not only going to buff her up with the skill effect, you're also going to buff up the all attack too. It's uh, very, very good. Radis, if you plan that as you get the character, definitely lower skill page. This is what I was going to be rerolling for anyway, but luckily I did pull it in my Julius summons. It's going to actually apply this debuff which i think basically makes it so like you do like crit damage even though it's not a crit it's a very very good debuff and also as well the character has a 25 percent chance to inflict a two percent speed reduction which isn't a lot but still you know once again speed so important in this game if you lower two percent off let's say 107 you're lowering the speed by like two and it's enough sometimes to make you not even attack i feel like this leo skill page is good for only for fana because fana wants to be max hp getting 50 percent actual magic attack for fana is pretty good because that's what she wants to be based on as you to be fair especially if you use the well this is really good for Noel because uh normally you're max hp because you have your shield you never really take damage especially if you're doing that speed strat with obviously vatos this is a very very good skill page that i would actually use on my Noel if I had it. So yeah, for what's my plan right now? I'm going to be rerolling for Mars with hopefully Leo's skill page. And if I can pull a free in one with Mars, with Lotus, whatever third skill page I get, I'm going to keep because I don't really care too much about it. My dream pool would be obviously definitely uh, William. So yeah, boys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Once again, no rush into doing this summon screen. You have basically two weeks to do it. I'll definitely say leave it towards the, like, the last few days off the actual, uh, you know, before the banner does leave because you never know what you might get. You might even do your singles. Yes, all these characters are on this single banner and you never know you may just pull that mars while waiting for the actual banner to leave and then you can try and guarantee another character so boys unless you affirmed the fact that you don't want to actually uh summon any more in julius banner then i'll do this one so yeah boys that's gonna wrap up the video let me know if you've actually summoned for julius and also as well if you've actually already done your julius gift and who you actually got or who you're going for hopefully this video did help out and uh yeah please